Well, it's time to talk Broncos, and we'll get to the footy very shortly, but there was an unsavoury incident, an allegation from one player against another. Let's hear from a few of the coaches and players. There's been an allegation of a racial slur to Ezra. How is he, mate? Yeah, he's pretty upset in there, but we'll leave that in the hands of the NRL to police and adjudicate on. But we certainly don't... Um, we support Ezra and our player and um, in everything that's around that. So he's adamant that... But, yeah, we'll leave it with the NRL. They're, they're, they're looking at it, so I won't make any more comment on it, except that we're supporting our player, and rightly so. Like Kev said, we support our player. He's pretty upset in there, so... But, uh, yeah. we, we certainly don't stand for racism, and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll support Ezra and get around him, make sure he's all right, and leave it the NRL hands. Yeah, I, I've heard of it like you guys have, so I, there's no comment from me about it because I, I can't have any opinion on it. You know, he obviously made the complaint, but that doesn't mean that it's right. It, it'll go through the formal process as it should. Welcome back. So it's only early doors there. We've just heard the reaction of both Kevy and Robbo, and Kevy's sticking by it. Robbo's not so much. How do we see this? Well, I think the big thing that we've got to look at here, Braith, is that the fact that the amount of millions of dollars that have been spent to bring this game here to America, to sell the game, to get the game published or uh, broadcast, televised yeah. and broadcast in, in America, uh, and then we come up with this. Yeah. And yeah, this is a country that's particularly sensitive to those sorts of allegations, as is Australia. Yeah. Uh, and it's just something that, yeah, for the life of me, I don't know how it happens. I know yeah. that... Uh, Spencer Lanyard was interviewed on radio after the game. Yeah. And he tried to dismiss it as just fun and games. Okay. Uh, tried to make out that he wouldn't confirm what was actually said, mm -hmm. uh, but he wouldn't... Uh, he sort of talked it off as just fun and games, as just something that happened between a couple of players yeah. that, that's fairly common. Now, the NRL will, will now investigate this. Uh, I'm still not sure my talks with Graham Annesley whether this will come under the match review or whether it will come under the racial vilification code mm -hmm. as far as the investigation goes but certainly that's going to start happening now the fact that the Broncos are standing by it makes forces the NRL to come in and, and uh, look at that they'll be looking at the audio they'll mm -hmm. see what they can pick up there uh, and then they'll just move on from there now that said uh, we are sitting here right now talking at the at the end of the game, yeah. uh, by the time people are watching this, will be in the air, yeah. uh, and there's going to be 24 hours that got to elapse by the time that happens. So we, we, we still don't know right now where it's at, but certainly uh, this is the the seed, and it's well, got to grow into something much bigger. Whenever a player goes to a referee, he makes an official complaint. It's normally pretty serious, it's right? Never good. Especially about racism, mm, yeah. um, which just shouldn't be in our game at all. So, I mean, it's. It's very unfortunate for everyone, really. Oh, look, I, I honestly can't believe it's happened yeah. here. On this stage. Yeah. Given, given that everybody knew the importance of this as a promotion, this is not just even... Look, it's, obviously it shouldn't happen at any time, right? And then no. I get all the wowsers out there saying it should never happen. Of course it shouldn't happen yeah, at course. any time. But in particular this time, the fact that there's so much has been spent on trying to... Kenny, I, I don't think it matters where it... I, I know what you're saying. I don't think it matters where... No, I think what Kenny's saying, though, is it, it's, it's, well, it, it, should, it should never happen, happen, but it's bad stage, timing. Yeah. The players yeah. it should never be, happen, but it should be yeah. overly but I actually, cautious. I actually applaud the Broncos for making an allegation, not withdrawing it, not leaving it on the football field, as we've seen time and again in rugby league, and something's been said, they want it fully investigated. Kevin Walters and the players are right behind Ezra Mann. That's fair It is only too. an allegation. But it's it's a no go. Oh, no, it's a no go. Absolutely. It's a no go ever. It's a no go ever. But we're not, but no one's just so we've come so no far go. The point too, is... Kenty. That's what's disappointing. You know, we've come so far as a game on yeah. racial issues. You know, if it's proven, if the allegation is proven to be true, and, and the match review committee or the racial vilification committee ultimately punish Spencer Lenya, he'll be looking at significant time on the sidelines, me, I would suggest. Let me ask this then. Should the fact that it's happened here and the, the NRL have put so much into the promotion of this game carry extra penalty? Is that, I, I is that fair be, or unfair? Uh, I, I think that would be unfair. If you, look, if you gouge someone out here, it's the same as gouging someone at 
Cog Roval or whatever, Kenny. I, I, I know what you're saying, the, the impact it will but have here. This is not a normal game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You make a fair argument, but it, it, on, no, on, that, no, on that, on that, right? I, I just don't know. Spencer Lenu was one of the players who came over here in December and was on the promotional tour that were you know, really trying to push rugby league and this experiment um, into the local market. And I've got to say, he did a fantastic job. Mm. He, he was such a good fella. I hadn't met him previously. He was the antithesis uh, off the field of what he's like on the field. He's such an alpha male. He's such an enforcer when it comes to um, being out on the footy field. But if this is proven to be true, I, I think he's going to be well, a, I hope it's a not. big steal. Well, I hope he hasn't so do done it because racism is just... It's a no-go anywhere, and we don't want it anywhere near our game or society, for that matter.